So we out here on this um, commercial building. Um, they haven't opened yet, but here are their two units. So they said one of them is not working, but none of them are running right now. But uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can find the problem. Um, they come in at nine and it's 8.30. So I'm gonna open this one first and, you know, just check the basics. We have, you know, 240, 24 bolts and all that stuff. Let's check if we have any 24 bolts. We do have 24 bolts. Let's make sure we got three phase, one leg to the other leg, 210, 210, 210. Okay, so in this one we got three phase and we got um, 24 bolts. Now, let's check if anything is calling. Nothing. Way one, common, nothing. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna jump it, see if, uh, see if it turns on. We got my alligator clips, but we'll see. Press is running, outdoor fan motor. Um, I don't hear the blower. Let's see, uh, let's open this up. The belt is not broken. Turns on. Yeah, blower is not turning on. So the blower contactor is this one here. Well, it's kind of loose, but at least it turns on. So why we're not getting voltage here? So if you see here, it's jumped in here, and then we follow that. I believe it goes in here, control board. Jumped it, and I let it run. Uh, I checked. 24 bolts and I didn't got I didn't have anything not even here um, or from the circuit board so the circuit board is not sending power here uh, the only thing I've found so far here is look at this belt this thing is so loose look at it so I got another one here we're gonna swap that one out and yep Okay, here we go. Much better. Yeah, this other one was super loose. We're still gonna leave it here as a spare. We can always, you know, um, adjust the motor. So we're gonna leave it here and we're gonna tag it. Uh, we'll put old so they know it's old. So, so. I decided to open the other unit um, and I jumped R to G the blower motor started you see the contactor the contactor just pulled in um, so that other unit is not doing that is starting the, the cooling right away either uh, the thermostat they're hooked up together or that cooling doesn't have any uh, time delay. So there you go, and it just starts the. So in this unit, the compress, the cooling, the compressor starts when you jump Y1, not when you jump to G. Um, 
so I am getting voltage to my contactor when I jump G and that's what I was um, asking myself you know like if basically I'm doing the same work as the thermostat by jumping it it should turn on the blower uh, this one is not doing it I think the board is it's uh, it's not sending the signal to the blower motor but you would think that evaporator coil would have been frozen by now as soon as I arrived but I'm, I'm not sure if they turn it off you know what I mean so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for them and I'm gonna ask them hey do you guys turn off the thermostat just to make sure what I'm gonna do is in the meantime to get them cooling is I'm gonna jump so this is common right here and this is power so I'm gonna jump power to this side so I'm gonna put a jumper from here to here that way when my cooling stage calls my blower will call too that way they will both run at you know automatically I'm just gonna wait until they arrive I'm gonna ask them their their side of the story see um, what happened pretty much but yeah so that one is starting r to g starting the blow motor this one is not doing it it's just starting the cooling cycle but it could be because it doesn't have any time delay or it could be because they're together on the thermostat could be so we'll see so they they just opened the place for me um i turned on the they had the unit off on the thermostat i turned on the unit and it turned on right away so that's what i was telling you guys when i jumped to g uh white one started right away which made me to think that it doesn't have a time delay on the thermostat so we'll check that out but look at the blower is not turning on check one more time so we're gonna go common to G it's calling nothing is turning on we'll go this lake to ground nothing this lake to ground nothing one to the other. Got nothing either. Yep, the board is bad. So for now, we're just gonna help them out and we're gonna do a jumper from here to here. Okay, so here's what I did to get them going. Um, don't mind the collar, but I used this jumper to jump power coming from blue to the side of the contactor and then I I made this jumper from common to common and then this is gonna bring it back to the to the board so hopefully it works The belt still a bit loose. So I'm gonna see if I can adjust the the, the tight the tightness on the belt. I jumped it but it keeps running so maybe it called already. Let's check. Common to Y1 is calling for cooling. Common to G calling for blower. But since we gave power from this contactor to the blower contactor, uh, that's why the blower is running. Oh, 
Okay, we got a good amount of voltage. I don't think it's gonna create voltage drop um, because we're sharing the same the same voltage, 23 volts. I think that should be fine. So let me go get my sockets and we'll see if we can adjust that blower motor, that belt. So I think we got it going, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell them they need a new board. I'm gonna get the info for the unit and let them know what, what's going on. But that was pretty fun. One other thing I wanted to mention is that I don't see any smoke detectors. Um, I don't see any smoke detectors. This is a float switch. So there's no, I don't see any smoke detectors. So we got 76 return. That coil has to get wet. Um, a bit human in there so TD is not gonna be perfect but you guys can see it's dropping already it's uh, 63 and, keep, and keeps going down so pretty happy with it we'll check it later okay just got the, the belt aligned so that's way better so she's back online gonna close it up and on to the next one thank you guys for watching I, I hope you, you guys like the video um, don't forget to subscribe like comment and yep see you on the next one bye